But here we go. Um, well, you'd be yeah. Morgan Freeman. Um, I don't know. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. PNAFX, man. Uh, here's a 10 signs. Your air quotes caring partner is actually controlling you. PNAFX, 10 signs. Your caring partner is actually controlling you, man. Uh, what you working on over there? <laughs> uh, are you ready to go, brother? Shut up. Hold on. Man. I should shut up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It, it, get your equipment right. But yeah, number 10. Uh, spying, snooping, or, re or requiring some kind of constant disclosure about what you go got going on. Red flag. Super red flag. That's number 10. Number nine. Overactive jealousy about whatever you got paranoia about what you got going on, man. Also, it's like that's that's it. That's number nine. Red number flag. eight. Number eight. You're always you're always apologizing all the time. You know what I'm saying? Whatever the situation is, oh, I'm sorry. You know what I'm saying? You know, you're, you're always red apologizing. Flag. Red flag. You know what I'm saying? That's a red flag list. <laughs> you know, I I would I would type that in. That that's better than what I had, but actually better. Yeah. Uh, number seven, um, you're walking on eggshells around them all the time, man. Oh, yeah. It's a red flag list. Mm -hmm. It's a red flag list, man. It's a red flag list, man. You know what I'm saying? Number six, they make you do things like this for your own good. You got you know, do that. It's for your own good type shit. That's mm -hmm. the, that, that quote. Really it ain't for their own good. It's make them feel comfortable about who you are and what that you got going on, man. So that's number six, man. Number seven, not respecting. I mean, I'm sorry. Excuse me. Number five, man. I'm I'm off. Not respecting your need for time alone. You know what I'm saying? So they you always just talked about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess it's weird that things come up. Number four, um, using guilt as a tool. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You can give us a two. Number three. This is getting heavy down here. They start to interfere in your relationship with your friends and your family. Mm. This sounds like a list of, of uh, like a red flag list of somebody who's who's uh, controlling you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Elliptical tonight, my nigga. Uh <laughs> Number two, you're always guilty until you're proven innocent, man. Mm. No matter what you got going on, you're guilty until you're proven innocent. You know what I'm saying? And number one, I'm not going to put it up here, but it's kind of like the same thing we had before. Isolation from not just friends and family, but just everything that you love, man. But I, I, I kind of misspelled it, whatever, but it's isolation. What the, was like they make you isolate? Yeah, isolate from just different whoever you are, things like you want to go, friends, family, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You just isolate it from things that you normally things that usually make you happy. So that's you're, you're isolated, you're isolated. So these are these are 10 things, opinionated facts list that signs your your caring partner is actually controlling you. Um, so number one is isolating you from friends and family or just isolating you from things, period, as you may have it, man. So that's that's it, man.